Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and today it's time for my review of Kernel. Now, Kernel is a new app created by Nikias Manilas and his team for tracking movies, and it's got a lot of cool features and some really unique aspects to it I wanted to share. So if you're a movie enthusiast, Kernel allows you to basically see all the movies that haven't come out yet, upcoming movies, in a list and track ones you're interested in. You can see information like a brief description, the movie trailer if it's been released, how many days until the movie comes out, whether it's in production or in like pre-production, and you can even see the rating for the movie if it's out yet. So let's say you are super into Frozen 2. I don't know why you would be. I'm probably gonna get attacked in the comments for that. But let's say you hypothetically like Frozen 2. You go in Kernel, you add it to your wish list, and then you can get notifications as the days count down. So you can say, send me a notification the day before or on release day. So you can remember to go ahead and buy your ticket and just to be hyped for the release of Frozen 2. Now, Kernel also has one other feature, which is the Kernel blog. This is an exclusive place to read their blog on maybe movie reviews or upcoming movies, opinions, lots of stuff around the world of movies. Now, to access their blog, you do have to pay for the premium version. Kernel Premium is $1.99, and it unlocks access to the blog, unlimited movie tracking, and removes ads. Now, I wanna take a minute to dive into the design and then I'm gonna discuss what's kinda of missing for me and what I'd like to see next. So the design of Kernel is beautiful. It's a dark design, very iOS style, and you can definitely tell that an Apple fanboy was behind the design of this app. The little things, like using 3D Touch to peek and pop on movie items, and having a dark mode and a sepia mode on the blog, these are the little details details that make me know an Apple fan was behind this. There's really great use of haptic feedback along the app when you add a movie to your wish list and different things like that. And there is even a fully featured Apple Watch app where you can see the amount of days left till a movie comes out right from your wrist. That is something that is super neat for a brand new app. I have to be honest though, I feel like more resources were spent on the design of this app and the cool aspects like 3D Touch than the actual features. Because to me, Kernel is a little bit lacking as a movie tracker. So the main one I noticed is that when you search under the coming soon section for a movie, this searches all movies ever, I guess you could say. Um, so it's not restricted to just movies that are coming soon. So like if you search Frozen, because you're psyched about Frozen 2 and you want to search for that to add it to your wish list, well, you get the original Frozen and like all the different movies matching the term Frozen instead of just Frozen 2, which is coming soon and hasn't been released yet. Another thing I noticed is a lot of movies will show their status as released even though it'll say like six days waiting before release or something. Uh, that's a little inconsistency, that's weird to me, but whatever is going on there should be worked out because it's just quite honestly confusing. Now one thing I would love to see is deep linking to Fandango and Adam to be able to buy movie tickets directly when they are available. And hot tip to Kernel, this could be a great opportunity for affiliate marketing and making some money. If you can work out a deal with Fandango and or Adam to make like 5% of every sale sent from your app, more money in your pocket, guys. Now, when it comes to the coming soon section, there's a lot more features I would like to see, and I think there's a huge opportunity here for the Kernel team to really build on this feature and add some killer add-ons. For example, I would love to be able to split movies into categories such as family-friendly, dramas, comedies, stuff like that. Right now it's only sorting by date released or popularity, but to be able to sort into those categories would be really cool for discovering movies coming out that maybe you haven't heard of yet and you might enjoy watching. Additionally, I would love to be able to get push notifications when a new movie is added to the coming soon list or a new movie of that category. So for example, say I am really into drama movies. If I could say, send me a push notification every time a new drama movie is added to the coming soon list, 
This would be an awesome way for me to keep track on all the new dramas coming out. I could go look at the listing right away as soon as a new movie is added to that category and say, hey, this looks cool, I'm adding it to my watch list, or no, you know, I'm not really feeling that. Cool, thanks for letting me know, and I just move on with my day. Overall though, Nikius, you and your team have done a fantastic job on the first version of Kernel. I am blown away by the level of attention to detail to the little things like the design and the UI, and I really think that you guys have a huge opportunity here to expand the app, and it's going to be really exciting. So what do you guys think of this new app? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, please do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.